Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this special edition of Nothing Geek Tea. Uh, today we have top 5 budget handsets in the Indian market currently. And uh, as you can see, I've laid out 5 smartphones in front of you. And the phone leading the race is the Lenovo A6000 handset. Now, let me show you what's so special about this phone. So guys, this phone costs rupees 7000 and uh, runs on a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 4110 processor. The RAM is 1 GB and the phone is running on Android KitKat 4.4.4 uh, operating system. The camera images too are really nice. Uh, on this phone and uh, let me show you quickly a few camera images which I have clicked uh, on uh, the Lenovo A6000 uh, smartphone this is the close-up shot uh, uh, and image as you can see is simply superb it, it's extremely nice phone you can see the details of the seam and the cracks on the ball this is a front facing 2 megapixel camera on the phone uh, everything so perfect we will just check the ball also and the detail and the colors are really nice i ran n2 benchmark on this phone and this gave this phone a score of 20722 which is good enough for a budget handset so let me also show you the multi-touch on this phone perfect this phone supports 5 point multi-touch guys battery is awesome battery easily lasts one day with moderate usage uh, as far as ranking is concerned uh, i played asphalt 8 airborne and overkill 3 overkill 3 and asphalt 8 airborne both these games will run uh, nicely uh, with the uh, medium graphic setting they won't run on high graphic setting perfect for moderate to light gaming but uh, and good for all your multitasking open multiple tabs send mails to whatsapp to chatting good enough now the second phone in our list of uh, the top five handsets currently in the indian market is the moto e second gen smartphone what should i say about it i mean uh, they have improved it really and nicely over the uh, uh, you know previous Moto E and this time uh, the interesting part I'll show you first this is the interesting part guys as you can see there is no back plate uh, there are two micro SD card slots there are sorry one micro SD card and two SIM card slot and simply you have to remove uh, this side uh, rim to uh, reveal these slots the battery is really massive 2390 almost 2400 mAh battery for a QHD uh, 4.5 inch display isn't that great the display is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection again let me show you uh, the N2 benchmark uh, rank 17,946 so this phone is uh, gets less amount of score than uh, Lenovo A6000 the processors are same on both the phones uh, let me also show you the multi-touch so it, it's a five point multi-touch guys I also ran the games on uh, this phone so you have the same overkill 3 asphalt 8 will run on low graphic setting moderate game like shark attack uh, ultimate spider-man they will run light game service offer they will run easily the battery of this phone is slightly better than Lenovo A6000 but all in all they come head to head Lenovo A6000 scores when it comes to the camera and Moto G Moto E second gen scores when it comes to the build quality the grip it's a rough and tough solid device and obviously it got Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection on it moving on to the third phone this is the surprise entry in uh, you know uh, in the indian market and this is in focus m2 smartphone which has which have been never been heard of before this is the cheapest of all this phone cost to be 7000 this cost to be 7000 this cost to be 7000 we'll come to uh, these phones later uh, 
a bit later but let's now focus on in focus smartphone this phone got a hd display of 4.2 inch the display is small guys but let me talk you about it 8 megapixel front facing camera with a constantly on uh, led light 8 megapixel rear camera uh, the phone supports OTG and uh, the phone apps are movable to SD on this phone too, on this phone too but uh, it's about the cheapest phone the display is really nice they have cut cost uh, they have done cost cutting on the display size but not on the quality the back uh, the you know these navigation keys are non backlit and uh, let me show you the back plate quickly uh, as you can see the battery is non-removable uh, the battery is non-removable on the moto e2 and uh, two sim card slots and oh, sorry one sim card slot and two two sim card slot and one micro sd card slot let me show you the camera images also guys here and as you can see the amount of detail is again it's good i mean we saw this on lenovo a6000 it's comparable to lenovo a6000 the image quality the front facing camera too is simply fantastic and uh, it's comparable to the 2 megapixel camera on the lenovo a6000 and the rear camera too is really splendid so let's move to the entry 2 it gives this phone a entry 2 score of 18,924 uh, which is again good for this budget phone let me show you the multi-touch we have a two point multi-touch on this phone a score of 18,924 get straight buddy guys uh carbon mark one smartphone uh, got a five 4.5 inch hd display the navigation keys are backlit there's a 5 megapixel front facing camera and 8 megapixel rear camera now the usb of this phone is we got dual speaker grills at the bottom the phone has gesture feature double tap to wake it up and uh, draw o to take it to the calculator draw s to take it to the settings uh, this is a fun feature of the phone uh, I've, uh, the phone uh, is running on android kitkat 4.4.2 operating system and uh, now let me show you the camera images guys of this phone now this is the front facing camera let's come to the front facing camera first and guys the images are good i mean look at the colors look at the quality i mean it's comparable to what we had on lenovo a6000's front facing camera the rear camera also does a fine job um, the images are good the clarity is also good slightly uh, one point less than what we had on a6000 or in focus but all in all a good camera the phone got smart gesture feature uh, the apps are movable to SD. Uh, I'll show you the back plate. The battery is uh, smallish here. It's 1800 mAh battery on this one, while all the other phones I showed you till now had bigger battery uh, than this. So, let me show you. Uh, two sim card slot a memory card slot and 1800 mAh battery so this was the fourth phone on the list so guys this was about uh, the four phones which have been priced quite similarly and scored a similar score on the entry to benchmark now the fifth phone which is still doing well and was launched last year although slightly expensive than these four smartphones is the moto g second gen smartphone i couldn't get a uh, take uh, keep it out of the list because it is indeed a good buy because of many factors the display and the touch are really really good uh, the speakers are also good and the cam front facing camera and the rear camera do pretty well on this phone plus the phone runs on android 5.0.2 kitkat which is the latest os uh, 
as you can see this is the android lollipop uh, i'll also show you the camera images like uh, with uh, this uh, camera camera of uh, this phone uh, guys like you can see this is the close-up shot which comes out very fine the touch is really nice the camera quality is also good uh, this is the close-up image of the ball although the camera rear camera is comparable to what we have on the no a6003 the front camera is really splendid the quality of the tiger and the uh, image are all uh, really nice so all in all guys i mean this phone apps are movable to sd let me show you that too It is showing me uh, the option to move to SD card and the phone also supports OTG which is a good thing. Uh, a remarkable phone. The battery, uh, alright, I haven't shown you the multi-touch, oh my god, how can I forget that? all right so let me show you the multi-touch on, on this phone it's a five point multi-touch on this phone and i also then show you the multi-touch on carbon mac one smartphone five point multi-touch on this phone as well the benchmark score of this phone is also eighteen thousand so it's all averaging around uh, 18 9 to 90 around 18500 score so guys let me sum up this for you number one phone is the middle one the lenovo a6000 handset the phone is a really nice phone dual speaker grills dolby surround sound you will get everything what you want the battery is good camera is good the display is good and the looks are also good apps are movable to sd but the phone does not support otg the second phone moto e it's rough and tough sturdy corning gorilla glass tree protection really nice touch latest software you will be getting the battery is better than the Novo a6000 but the camera is not the phone uh, scores slightly less uh, score than the Lenovo a6000 and the phone also supports apps to sd but does not support otg the third phone in focus m2 it is the cheapest of uh, these uh, and costs only 18 only 5000 rupees uh hd display uh, a rather a smallish uh, display we have here and uh, camera is really brilliant and uh, in couple of shots it um, i mean it defeated uh, by some uh, this uh, lenovo a6000 uh, otg this phone supports otg and apps are movable to sd the build is also good apps are movable to sd in carbon mark one the phone does not support otg and uh, it has a blue uh, really nice notification light i like the blue color that's why uh, the no, bottom buttons are backlit uh, which is a good thing and uh, only the back draw is the phone got a slightly less amount of 1800 mh battery for a 5 inch hd display i think that will uh, be uh, slightly less but let me check it in my complete battery test and review for that you stay tuned and kindly hit the subscribe button uh this is the other phone with a big really nice five inch display really nice touch a really nice camera too the camera quality is compared to the image quality is compared to lenovo a6000 smartphone and uh, uh what to say the phone supports otg and also apps are movable to sd so apps are movable to sd on in focus and uh, uh, sorry old phone these both phone supports otg in focus and uh, the moto moto g second gen smartphone all the five smartphones uh, apps are movable to sd uh, hopefully this video might have helped you uh, you know clear out your doubts about the top five budget uh, smartphones in the indian market 
and uh, hopefully you will be able to select the one for you uh, do tell me what phone did you opt for um, there might be a couple of phones you might be find, uh, finding missing in this list but guys let me tell you this is currently the best of the lots we have in the budget segment uh, uh, today uh, if you like the video uh, kindly hit the subscribe button because um, I would like to stay connected to you and I think you would also want to connect with me kindly hit the subscribe button have a great day and see you next time guys